hello beautiful people welcome back in today's video i want to share with us three powerful things you should say every morning i call it early morning affirmations whenever you start saying this or start doing this by the special grace of god your life will never remain the same believe me and try this simple but powerful affirmations there is power in your tongue there is power in whatever you believe in. When you say this, have faith and believe it, and by the special grace of God, you must testify. You must see the goodness of God in your life within a twinkle of an eye. So the first thing you will do immediately you wake up, you will say, Lord, I am thankful. If most of you don't know the miracle of sleeping and waking up every morning. Forget about not having millions in your account. Forget about not having billions in your account. Have you for one day gone to the hospitals, especially a specialist hospital or a teaching hospital? Have you for one day go to the prisons to check people there? You see so many innocent people in the prison. No hope of coming out. No hope of regaining their freedom. Some of them are actually innocent of the crime they are punished for. Most of them are not innocent, but they did it out of mistake. Nobody cares to know whether you did it intentionally or not. So sleeping and waking up from your house, from your bed, is a very big miracle if you don't know. Most of you will say, I feel like ending this life because I don't have money. I feel like ending this life because I am owing people. If you earn the life, do you know what God has in stock for you tomorrow? Do you know how your tomorrow will be? Do you know whether God is being, you are being put to test? Most of us don't understand how God blesses people. Watch many people that actually believe in God. They pass through phases of life, phases of life, and when they cross that phases of life, you will see them excelling and nobody can stop them. No devil can quench that fire when God just put out that fire on them. No matter how they try, no matter how hard they try, they cannot quench that fire because the hand of God is upon them. They were able to pass through that test. You can imagine Abraham in the Bible. His only son that he prayed for Immediately, God gave him. God equally put him to test that he should sacrifice that his only son. I, I will go to trauma. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. So you can imagine the kind of test God is putting so many for so many of us through. And when you don't have that patience to endure, you may not live to enjoy what God has in stock for you. So always be thankful to God each time you wake up. That is the first affirmation, Lord. I am thankful okay then the second one is Lord I am sorry remember God said in the Bible that if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us but if we confess our sin he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness so when you believe that you are a sinner when you accept that you are a sinner God is ready to forgive you your sins God is ready to wash you so that you be whiter than snow. Most of us don't believe we are sinners. We only believe that others are sinners. Everybody on this set, you have a way of offending God, even your fellow human being. So always accept that fact that you are a sinner and you are sorry. God is a merciful God. Anybody that's, that is serving God is not easy. The temptation you get is even more than an ordinary person. Because people will tempt you from every corners of the world. People will tempt you from every areas of your life to see how strong you are, both spiritually and physically. So always tell God you are sorry for the sins you've committed, knowingly or unknowingly. And He should forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Give you that grace to always overcome any form of temptation. Remember, when you offend somebody and say, I am sorry, the person may not really take the action he or she planned to take, no matter how wicked that person is. So that word, I am sorry, Lord, I am sorry, 
you actually melt the heart of God to reduce whatever, even if God is angry with you. Once you have acknowledged your mistakes, he's ever ready to forgive you and to make things right again in your life. Okay? Remember, I, the first one you say, God, I am thankful. The second one, Lord, I am sorry. Then the third one, Lord, have your way in my life. When God is with you, believe me, nobody can be against you. He is going to share you. He is going to guide you. He is going to protect you. He is going to provide for you. That is why many people that know God, they don't lack. They don't lack because God will always have a way of blessing them. Sometimes I will say I will not have money to take to do what I want to do. Before you know it, I don't even know the miracle will just happen. Somebody will just call me, Solution Empire, oh, I just watched your video. I love what you do. Please, can you send me your account number? Begging me to send that account number for him or her to dash me money. I would just say, God, is that how powerful you are? So when you are serving God in truth and the spirit, believe me, you will never lack. You will never lack. Anything that wants to give you sleepless nights, God will just come and arrange it for you. There was a time my car was giving me serious issues. Miracle just happened from nowhere. And God did it and I was able to get a new car. So these are the things God will do for you if you are actually serving him. You will never like this one that some of you will just be looking for who will pay house rent for you, pay your children's school fees. When you serve God in truth and in spirit, you don't even need to beg. God will always send people to pay your school, fee, your children's school fees if you don't have money. God will always send people to pay your house rent. There is a widow I know. I just remember her some days ago. I called her. I said, her, it's been long we spoke. Please send me a account number. I can't remember where I saved your account number. And she was like, they want to send the children back to school, as in to go and pay school fees this week. And I called her. This is how God will bless people that serve him in truth and the spirit. God will always touch the heart of somebody to bless you. It has been long I communicated with her, but I was touched to you know, call her to you know, ask her for that account number. That is the way God used to touch people to bless me. So the same way God touches people to bless, that is the same way he touches me to bless people around me. So that is the same way God will bless you if he has his way in your life, you will never lack. People around you will see the glory of God in you. They want to be like you. They want, they want to know the God you are serving. Sometimes they want to know where you're working because everything around you is very rosy. Your relationship, your marriage, your children, everybody wants to be like you. So that will be your prayer point. Every morning, God, I am thankful. God, I am sorry. The last one, God have your way in my life. By the time you affirm this every morning, just watch how God is going to change your story for good. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.